Hello there, welcome back to my channel and today's topic Tuesday is your Valentine's polish rack for February 6, 2024. And I picked out 14 polishes because I feel like Valentine's Day comes very quickly and leaves just as quick and there's just not enough time to wear Valentine's polishes. So I picked out one for each day leading up to Valentine's Day. Not that I'm actually wearing them, but it's fun to pick them out and look at them <laughs> sitting on my desk while I do other nail art because I have collabs due and, and just no time to wear Valentine's polishes. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First up is Orly's Wink Wink. So I did get a Orly Valentine's Day bundle last year, which included a lot of these polishes. So this one's just a nice chewed bubblegum pink. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but like, you know, gum kind of loses its color. This, this looks like it was like desaturated a little bit, but I like that. This is a great base color for putting toppers over. You know, Valentine's Day has a lot of fun toppers, hearts and glitters and things like that. So it does take two to three coats to get a nice coverage on my nails, but I do think the color is really pretty. One of those toppers would be Let's Go Girls from that same Orly bundle. So this is on top of Wink Wink. It's this really packed glitter topper that has these lights and darker pink hex glitters and then a little bit of hollow glitters as well. This one's really fun and I like this one because you can build it up and have full coverage on its own like you could even sponge it on but I find it easier just to put over top of a pink cream and then it, it really looks like one cohesive polish and it's gorgeous and fun and I just can't help but sing the song in my head let's go girls next one is sup from Orly which is like I would maybe even call it like a fuchsia kind of pink color it looks a little bit more red a little bit more berry colored in my swatch picture but yeah this one reminds me it reminds me of the hollow taco crushed hollow formula but it is not it is very much a jelly with a lot of glitter in it but I don't know I really like how it looks and it builds up pretty well for being a jelly base it only takes me two coats to get good coverage not fully covered visible nail line but good coverage another orly is beautifully bizarre so this is a super light pink with a really delicate kind of bluish green shimmer which i like that little that little extra interest in it and really i maybe should have put this with my winter pastel picks because it is kind of got winter vibes but you know, Valentine's Day is in February. It's a cold month. It is a winter holiday. So I feel like this one still fits. And again, great base for toppers, for nail art, for things like that. You can see my swatch didn't get the best coverage for my swatch, but if I take my time and I'm a little more patient with it, I can build it up in two to three coats and have good coverage. Okay, last orly on the list is this really fun topper. It's so cute. It's just so cute. I put it over white. It's called Crush. And you see what it is? It's heart glitters. It's Valentine's Day. Let's get cheesy with it. The best Valentine's Days are from elementary school when you decorated your little box and everybody gave each other those cheesy little paper Valentine's. That's what this reminds me of. That's the, the feelings this topper gives me. It's so adorable. I did have to fish around for some of the hearts and I did a glitter placement on maybe three or four of them just to fill out my nails. But honestly, they came out fairly well on their own they do get they do like to get clumped up at the tip of your nail so you might have to manipulate them a little bit but that's true for any large glitter topper next I have some Cirque colors so this is Cirque colors sugar plum which is a crelly with these iridescent flakies in it and I like purples and reds both for Valentine's Day so I feel like this one reminds me of candy reminds me of like winter time I don't know just just had the right feelings when I opened my drawer and looked at my pinks and purples and reds this one stood out to me and I was like yeah that's Valentine's Day or something I don't know it's kind of a weird polish I don't really wear it that often because it's like a muted purple but I I weirdly like that for Valentine's Day bright purples are for spring muted or pastel purples are for winter apparently Next Cirque Colors is a Magnetic BAE, Big Aura Energy, which this was a fun collection. These magnetics are really fun and I did the kind of velvet effect on most of my nails and I did one cat eye nail and you can see 
I didn't hold the magnet long enough and I didn't hold it again when I top coated because the line is already distributing. It's uh, fading out as all magnetics do. I don't have time for magnetics this year and I hardly ever use them, but I do really like having them in my collection because it's really cute. It's this like soft mauve. I'm learning colors still. <laughs> kind of a mauve pink, but then that that magnetic pigment just brings it to life and really does look like velvet, which I really enjoy. So I wouldn't do a cat eye normally with this one. I really like the velvet look for this magnetic. Next pick is from ILNP. This one's called Strawberry Shake and it's adorable. It's a pink curly with red metallic flakes in it and it really does look like a strawberry shake that you and your sweetheart would share with two little straws coming out of it. Except not really. Get your own shake. <laughs> At least that's how I feel. I feel a little weird about the like two straw sharing thing, but I think it's an adorable polish. And what's nice about it is it's subtle enough to where you could put nail art on top of it and it wouldn't take away from anything, but it's also cute enough to be on its own. Up next is from Hollow Taco. This is Bury Me in Hollow from the Sophia collection based on the berry colored lipstick, Franken lipsticks that uh, Sophia likes to make. And it's gorgeous and I really like it. It's in that crushed hollow formula that is velvety and delicious and <laughs> really does look like a raspberry drizzle on top of like some ice cream or something. I don't know. I guess I'm hungry while I'm making this. <laughs> Valentine's Day is all about the food and the fun desserts and the beautiful colors. So I really, really enjoy this one. Of course, it's not a complete date unless you bring some roses. So here is Picture Polish's Rose. So gorgeous. This polish is really nice. It has a nice subtle glitter, holographic glitter in it, which isn't really showing up in my swatch, but just it's that slight bend of the nails and you can see the shine in it, which is really, really gorgeous and just a nice pigmented color. The, this is only two coats and it just full coverage no issues whatsoever getting this opaque honestly in one coat but i did two coats because that's who i am <laughs> okay up next is glisten and glow and this one is from polish pickup it is goddess of love and it's so perfect this is my perfect valentine's day polish because it's fun and it's got all the colors in it so it's got those purple and red flakies in like a soft purple curly background Oh, it's so much fun. And of course, I can't help but sing the <laughs> the intro song, the ditty that plays every time Aphrodite shows up in Hercules, the animated series. If you know what I'm talking about, please comment below. I can't be the only one who remembers. <laughs> I don't want to play it because Disney will come for me, but look it up. It's hilarious. And I don't know, this is just so fitting for Valentine's Day and my little Aphrodite. My next pick from Glisten and Glow is actually my first PR polish. It came with a set of three. This is Love Songs Trio. This one is At Last, which is the song that my husband and I danced to at our wedding. So means a lot to me and it's beautiful. It's another raspberry <laughs> and it is absolutely packed with matching reflective glitters. So when you take a picture under flash, boom, your nails light up in the night and it's, oh, it's so pretty. It is very gritty because of all those packed reflective glitters. You definitely want a glitter grabber top coat to smooth it all out, but once you do, it's perfect. It's good to go. It's a really nice color for Valentine's Day. It's so loving and it's named after a great song. So perfect. Next up is another goddess polish. This one is named Kore or Persephone's previous name. I don't know a whole lot about the actual myth of Persephone. I just read Lore Olympus on Webtoons, which I believe this polish was inspired by because it is a pink with an intense blue and reflective glitter, which is her colors in the comic. And I think it's great for Valentine's Day in this fun. It's just like a nice big pop of color. Here it is under a flash so you can see those reflective glitters coming back. Not as intense as the Glisten and Glow one, but I like the contrast in this one. So Corey by Danny Vienna. Very beautiful. Last but not least is last but not least by Colors to Carol. I placed an order for Colors to Carol and just got a bunch 
of little weirdos. This is a little weirdo polish. So if you want to bring out your true weird girl self on Valentine's Day, wear this one because it's a mess. <laughs> it's, it's like, um, it's like mauvey pink curly background just packed with the most random assortment <laughs> of glitters and flakies. And it's really pretty. Um, if you took out the colored hex glitters, it would be just a nice like floral themed polish. But those those added hex glitters in the random colors just give it that little weird girl edge that I love. <laughs> I don't wear it a whole lot because it is kind of an odd polish, but I definitely should feature this a little bit more, especially in springtime since it's named for, you know, flower buds in springtime but i just thought it looks like the aftermath of valentine's day like all the candy wrappers <laughs> at least in a classroom you know what i mean after the party and all the candy wrappers and everything you, know, you gotta clean up it just it's fun it's just having fun and being itself which is how you should be on valentine's day so <laughs> Clarissa Carroll, thanks for the weirdo. So that is my Valentine's Day rack. It's fairly traditional for most of them, but you know, a little extra something here and there. Let me know which one was your favorite or if you like to wear anything for Valentine's Day or are you anti-Valentine's Day? Do you go like a, a full black manicure for Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.